Hello, this is Chaos Blue, and welcome to more Let's Play Final Fantasy VI. Last time, we defeated the Skull Dragon, or Bone Dragon, or Undead Dragon, or whatever the hell it was called. And finished Sien's path, it seems? And this time around, well... Well, we're gonna continue on with Kefka's Tower. Oh, so this was right here. Hmm. Go figure. Well, only one thing to, only one path to do at this point. That would be Slez. Although I haven't actually found any bosses with Terra. Hmm. That's interesting. Although maybe not significant. I don't know. Really? A game? That is so annoying. Although not as annoying as freaking level 5 DEATH! That is really annoying. <laughs> and you're all dead. Okay, um... Now, where was I with Slez's path? Oh... I came from down there, so I can go through that door, or I can look what's over here. It's a box! Force armor. More force armor. Uh, I don't think you can wear force armor. Nope. So... I guess I'll throw it on you? Um, let me think. I can't give it to y either of them. Or... Uh, wait, actually, no. Instead of giving it to him, I'm gonna just gonna... No, ah! Uh, yeah, you. You can wear force armor. And you don't have a shield, so... You cannot wear force armor, otherwise I would give it to Shadow. Ah, uh, no, I, I passed it. Whoops. Okay then, let us fight these assholes, apparently. Kill the Malibru, please. No, don't do that, it absorbs it. Do that one. And... Frankly... If that doesn't kill the Malibru, and ho hopefully it does... Okay, we're good. Chainsaw. That is not as bad as it used to be where it always just one-shot me, but it's still a pretty annoying ability, I think. Okay then. Okay then. I guess we'll go through here, because that other upward part, I'm pretty sure, just goes back to the entrance. Uh, oh, but first, more of these assholes. Um, you need to use Phantom Rush, because whether or not you are successful determines whether or not I'm using Ultima. Okay, we good. Uh, attack and chainsaw because I don't want to wait for the jumping because I can just do that okay then okay then um oh it's the other dragon it's the final dragon! Mmm, I don't know what element it is. So, you're good, you're good, um... You're probably good? You are, you are getting a force shield. And I should also top off Celeste's HP. 
Yeah, I don't care about your HP. In fact, your HP being low is good. And I can't go and save, so let's do this. Not that I'm too worried. This is probably my strongest party of the three, simply by virtue of having Sabin in it. So, of course it's the freaking Thunder Dragon. Oh, actually Sabin did resist that. What does he have on it that resists Thunder? Whatever. It doesn't matter. Ultima. And jump. We can make quick work of this, dragon. Although, come on, it's not a freaking dragon. It's clearly a brontosaurus. Well, I say brontosaurus, but it's a dinosaur in any case. It's clearly not a dragon. Although this game is really bad for calling dra dinosaurs dragons in general, I can at least sort of see the comparison with a T-Rex. But come on! Oh hey, we killed it. Edgar didn't even get a freaking land with his spear. That's just great. And we got another crystal orb. Which is okay, I guess? The Eightfold Seal has been broken! So I should address this right now. I am most likely not going to do the Dragon Den. It's post-game content, and as you know, I, that's not really my thing. As you hopefully know by now. The seal is broken. I am free! You who defeated the Legendary Eight, I shall wait you at the dragon in the Dragon's Den. I don't even know where the Dragon's Den is, actually. But I do know that I just got Crusader. Damage his allies, that's great. Which teaches Meltdown! And plus 50% MP, which is pretty math. Actually, to be perfectly honest, while this is allies as well, Hmm. To be perfectly honest, I'm probably not even going to ever use Meltdown. I doubt I will um, be able to learn it before I finish the game. Who knows, though? I'm going to throw that on Terra the next time I change over. Uh, in the meantime, let... Oop. Whoops. Whatever. In the meantime, though, let's... uh. Yeah. What the hell are these? Oh, I guess I left the force shield on Edgar. Well, whatever. Whatevs. You see what I mean about that not really scale them not really scaling the same? The Valiant Knife is amazing even when Locke's HP is mostly full. The ultimate weapon is kind of m meh, unless his, unless his HP is completely full, and he's a super high level. Although the ultimate weapon does combine well, well they both combine well with um, the Master Scroll, so I shouldn't even really say that. Okay then. Hmm. Outsider and ch oh, you guys. I've fought you before. Kill her. Kill. Although I didn't think I don't think I fought you with this party though. To be fair, who are you using holy on? Um, hopefully Slez, because she definitely is. Oh, she is affected by it. Um, well, they didn't really hurt her that much, so I think that was still the correct target. Hmm. Stop throwing weapons at me! Seriously? They seriously just threw, like, I think eight, no, four weapons at Sabin. All but one thing they threw was at Sabin. 
This is a little bit frustrating. Hmm. Do I need to revive him? Uh, I guess you can. Oh wow, you have Kyrga? Really? Huh. Go figure. Uh, yeah, I'll do that. Do that. And uh, let us continue. Okay, I thought that would be where this went next. I hit this, and the door opens. And immediately after I step through this door, um, I'm gonna move these guys off of the switches. Because I have the feeling that those weights are gonna drop on them at some point. Oh, well that's interesting. Um, what what did that do? Seemingly nothing? I guess you can wait here, because this is probably gonna open up eventually. Mmm. What? I I've been locked inside. Okay, I'm gonna need to be really careful now, because I do not want to be locked into the center aisle with Sian. That seems like a recipe for disaster. Um, what I do want to do... Because screw these guys... Is use Ultima. So... Osmos, and then Ultima, please. Uh, wh where... Where... Where did it... Where did it there it is. It's kind of really weird that Holy is black magic in this game, like, what is up with that? I guess it's sorted by healing magic, damaging magic, um, effect magic. It still just seems really weird, though. Hmm. You should use Osmos as well, actually. You know, assuming that I didn't just kill them all. Which I probably did, to be fair. Uh, ooh. They froze Setzer. Oh hey, I learned Ultima on Realm! Awesome! Awesome! Hmm. Oh, you son of a bitch. Sian is going to be in the center path. I really don't want Sian in the middle. Wait, no, no, wrong party. How did this happen? Like, I really don't want Sian in the middle. It seems like such an awful idea. Do that, uh, do that, do that, do that. Hmm, I was hoping that deal a little bit more damage, although I don't know what I was expecting, to be honest. Okay, well, actually, Confused Lock could be really bad. Um, Confused Seven isn't actually that bad. Confused Lock, though, can do a huge damage with his knife. Potentially. Okay. But that will kill them all, so we're good. I guess I need to heal Sabin, but... We're basically good. Hmm... Do that... And... okay. Push the other four ton weight, and somehow this magically opens. I wonder what would happen if I left the character there, actually. I mean, it's a little too late to check now, but... Please do not make me go forward with Sian. Okay, can the other characters go? Though? Because I noticed there's doors with them. Uh, which they can't actually take right now. Son of a bitch! Well, well, that's just prime.
Oh no. <laughs> Wait, wasn't the Guardian unbeatable? Like, I thought I it was undamageable. Well, it's not anymore. Hmm. Win Rhapsody. Fail. Okay, you do that. You, I want to do a check before I rage to see if it's vulnerable to electricity. Because whether it is or not has a big impact on which rage I use of Gao. Uh, okay, Gao is leaking damage right now. That's... he has been inflicted with... Oh yeah, that's definitely weak against electricity. Um, I shouldn't have done this one, since I have a whole lot of people waiting, but whatever. Do that, please. Do the same blitz, please. Seriously, Ultros? Uh, do you have Kyurga Gao? No, I didn't really think so. Okay, use the Aspian, please. You know, no, don't, don't use the Aspian. You oh, you're dead. You're dead now. Um. So I need Goku to to revive Sien and Gal. The bright side is, if the Guardian wipes me, at least I can send someone other th or at least I can send Slez instead of freaking Sian into the middle. So, you know, that'll be- that, that'll be nice. Um, anyway. Mmm. Feet. Man, this is that other boss all over again. <laughs> so awful. At least Mog is- can use powerful healing magic this time around. So hopefully he'll use powerful healing magic this time around. Um, without... Does that... Oh, okay, that didn't kill them, so... But Mog used Wind Slash. Not really quite what I had in mind there, Mog. Not quite what I had in mind. Uh, you use Rays, I suppose. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna do that. Wait, does that hit everyone? No, it just kills Go- Oh, it didn't even kill Gogo, -Go, actually. Hmm. Please use Sunray or Sunburst or whatever the one that heals me, Mog. Hmm. Does Gal have haste? Probably not. Well, he has haste, but he doesn't have haste to go. Okay, um... Oh, hey, I have Seraph, actually. Use Seraph. Oh. Well, that's gonna kill everyone, except for maybe Go-Go. Well, that was a wipe. Right. If this doesn't kill it, then I'm gonna just redo this with Celeste. And that's what happens when your worst party is forced to fight all the hardest bosses. Um... Okay then. Um... I'm not even gonna, like, stop this video. I'm just gonna cut to this battle of game with Celeste. So I'll see you in a minute or two. And more than 20 minutes later... This took so long to get back here. We're here. This, and this time, this time things should go quite differently, since this is my OP party. I mean, it should go differently. If it didn't, then something very bad would have taken place. Since I can do that, and Ultima, and also do Locke's thing, yeah.
I will make short work of the Guardian. I would have actually preferred to fight the Terra's part group, though, to be honest. That would have been just as OP, because Terra. But... But, I haven't really got a chance to do, do any bosses with them, actually. Like, at all. It's kind of, it's kind of ridiculous. And it would have been nice to do so. But the important thing is that I don't need to put up with Sien's awful party. Um, pretty much. Oh, I did not know that the Holy Lance could auto-cast Holy. Well, I say auto-cast, that's incorrect. But I didn't know it could attach a Holy. I knew the Lightbringer did that, but I did not know the Holy Lance did that. So, go figure. And it's dead! Yay! And as a save point, I could have really used this before fighting the robot, to be honest. Now, I don't think the other two can progress yet, so... Unless I'm mistaken? Nope. Okay. They cannot, so... Um... Okay. Actually, though, now that I'm here... Uh, oh, Lox is dead. Mm -hmm. Yes, I don't want to deal with you. Screw you guys, Ultima. But yeah, after the chore it was to fight the Guardian the second time, I think I'm going to end off the episode here. So, join me next time when... We delve even deeper into Kefka's tower, or I suppose higher up Tef Kefka's tower, as the case may be. Until then, this has been Let's Play Final Fantasy VI with Chaos Baloo, and have a good day. Bye!